there, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about how to create a report on a query in Access. I have one of my databases open and already ready to go. We see it has some tables and queries built here on the left. So let's get started. Now, when we want a more professional printout of the information that can be provided by a query data sheet, we use a report object. Now by first selecting the fields and records we want in a query and then basing the report on that query, we can easily add new fields and calculations to the report by adding them to the underlying query. Now I'm gonna pick on my state analysis query here on the left, so I'm gonna double click on that. I'm gonna go up here to my create tab and click on the report wizard button over here in my reports group. Now here for my tables and queries, I'm gonna click this list arrow here and make sure query state analysis is selected. It is perfect. And for the fields, I'm gonna just click select all the double arrow and bring them all over. And then I'm gonna click next. And then it's asking how do we want to view our data by customers or by tours? This looks good, I'm gonna click next again. Now it's asking do we want to add any grouping levels? I do, I wanna group by tour name. So I'm going to click this arrow to bring tour name over and this will add it as a second grouping level. Then I'm gonna click next, and it's asking if we want to apply any additional sorting. I do not need to choose any sorting options in this one, so I'm gonna click next, and it's going to confirm the layout and orientation. I'm fine with stepped in portrait, that is what I want, so I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And then finally, it's gonna ask us what we want to title this query. I'm gonna title this one State Revenue Report and click on finish. And voila, there is a report based on a query. Now this report lists each tour sold within each state as many times as it has been sold. So it looks good, but I wanna add a little more information to this report. It'd be nice if we had the customers who have purchased these tours also listed in the report. So in order to do that, we first need to add them to the query that this report is pulling from because they weren't already there. So I'm gonna go over here to my reports and right click on our state revenue report and click design view. And then if it's not already showing up, make sure you click the property sheet button to open up the property values and that opens up in a pane on the right. I am just dragging this over so that we can see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna click here on the data tab and see right here it says record sort state analysis. I'm gonna click on that. And then all the way over here on the right, these three dots, that's called the build button. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that to open it. And this opens up the state analysis query in query design view. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this property sheet out. I don't need that anymore. And remember, I wanted to pull the first and last name of our customers. So I'm gonna double click on first name and last name to bring those in. And now that we've done that, I can go ahead and click close to close this out. It asked me if I wanna save the changes. I'm gonna click yes. So I'm gonna go up here to my design tab and click this text box button. And then down here to the left of price, I'm gonna click in here to add this new text box. Well now, of course, once I added it, I'm gonna just use my up arrow to place it a little bit better. There we go. I'm gonna click in here in my label and right click and delete it because I don't need the label. And here in the unbound box, I'm gonna click in that and then I'm gonna type in equal and then put in the two fields. In square brackets, I'm gonna put first F name and then outside of the square bracket, I'm gonna put in space and symbol quote blank quote, this is to put in a blank space between the first and last name, and then another and symbol, and then once again in square brackets, I'm gonna put in L name for last name, and then hit enter. Now yes, I could have put in the first name and last name fields separately and pulled those into the report, but the information looks a little bit more professional as a result with one expression that calculates the entire name. So now let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna switch to layout view. And now we will see here that it did add in the names underneath the tours, great. Now, before we get out of this one, I do see that some of my names are cut off, so I'm gonna go over here, hover over the end, and just drag it over until they have plenty of space to show up, perfect. And that's our report ready to go based on one of our queries. Fascinating, right? Access just never ceases to amaze me with its capabilities. And that's how we create a report on a query in Access. Access is a complex program, but you too can master it. All it takes is reviewing these steps and practicing them yourself so that you too are a master of Access. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you go back and watch the rest of the videos in this playlist on Access. And as I always say when I close out my videos, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you later.